welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are trying something out, which honestly I should have done before now in the year because it's fall and all of the plants and leaves are drying up and turning colors and falling away and just turning into crispy little things that are turning to dust. So I'm a little behind the eight ball, but I just saw this on Pinterest and I thought it looked cool and I was like, okay, I'm gonna test it to see if it works. And then if it does work next spring, which would be the ideal time to do it, that's when I'm actually gonna do a project out of it. So basically what it is, is making like plant stationery. So you take pieces of paper and then like leaves of plants and just smack them with a hammer, <laughs> essentially. And so it's gonna like, you know how you get grass stains um, because like the liquidy is green and you like, you get the grass stains. So same idea, it's gonna like stain the paper in the shape of the plant that you whack with the hammer. So. I have a few different items. I went foraging for like things that are still green. I've got some grass, um, some different wobbly leaves like these you can tell are still really liquidy inside. So that's good. A couple different green leaves of different varieties. I don't know why I'm still holding these. Um, and these still looked really wobbly and fresh. So I got these and basically the idea is just to see if it's gonna work. I mean, I really do think that if I like smash it and like the little green juices come out, it will stain the paper green. What I don't know though is that, okay, great, then you take the picture and it's done. Like, sure, post it to, to Pinterest or you know Instagram or whatever. But like, leaves turn brown and dry up. So like, if that juice goes on the paper three days later from now, is it gonna be like brown and gross and just like not even a thing you wanna use? So that is what I'm testing today. Basically, I'm just gonna make some and then put it aside for at least a day, maybe two days, but like, you know, an apple turns brown in a couple hours. So. I don't know, maybe I'll check back tomorrow, see how it's going and just see if this works. And if so, then that's something that would be really cool to make um, just different stationery like that and have it last and just be beautiful and um, super easy and super cheap to make. So that is what we are trying today. I do have a couple things. I have my leaves, which I picked. Um, you're on your own to find those. Printer paper, I do have a cutting board because I don't want to be smacking my table with a hammer. And I have this little rubber mallet. I thought that would be better than a hammer. A, there's more surface area, so I have a greater chance of like actually hitting my target. It's not super heavy. I'm not gonna like destroy anything with it, but um, definitely gonna be enough power to like smush a leaf with. So I'll link that down below if you guys wanna try this out yourself along with my socials. Let's get going. So I'm starting just with the cutting board. I'm gonna be putting down a piece of just regular printer paper and then kind of just putting my leaves out. Like I said, I'm not really sure if this will even work, so I'm not trying to necessarily make a pattern, although that might be cool. Like, why not if I'm putting them out anyway? But um, yeah, mainly this is just to see if it works. So uh, yeah, if it does work, I will do something cool later. But right now, we're just kind of giving all the leaves their, their needed space and see if this is something that we can get, get going. These actually seem pretty dry. I don't think those will work. These seem very wet. Then I've got these. This is like filling up all the paper. I'm glad I didn't get any more. And then some pine needles just for like good measure. And then I figure I'll just make two sheets at once because why not? I gotta like cover it to hit it anyway. So, second piece of printer paper. And I can kind of see through it and I'm just gonna like... Oh hey, you can already see it's working. Kind of like when you run a crayon over a stencil. This actually smells really good. It like released the scent of the plants. Yeah, I'm gonna say like no on this one. That looks nothing like, I mean, yes, okay, there's some green stuff on there, but this is not at all what it promised. And this is not even, this just isn't good. Like, what is this? Okay, let's try without the paper. Just for like, just for the sake of like making sure we tried, we'll try without smashing it. Right? So I'm gonna take a place that's like basically white, take a leaf that's got a lot of juice in it, I know that one does. There's 
there's nothing there. Like, you get you get some some green splatches, but this is not. This is not good. This is not what Pinterest promised me at all by any stretch of the imagination. This is not pretty stationary. So I'm gonna say it doesn't work. This doesn't work at all. And we're back. Okay, so this is definitely a Pinterest fail. This doesn't work. This is a lie. And that's a bummer because I was really looking forward to something like beautiful like that. But on the little pin I saw was like this perfect outline of a leaf. The closest thing that it did to that was, which one is it? Um, this one maybe? Yeah, this one right here. So this is the back side. So the, the leaves and stuff were on the side facing me. And you can see I do have some imprints of the leaves and I was really, really excited about that. And like, oh, that means it's working. That was when I like moved the mallet over it and this is just like the black rubber, kind of like when you have a raised thing and you're using a pencil on it just to like get the relief of it. But um, on the other side where it's supposed to be green and pretty like, it doesn't look like a leaf. It doesn't look like anything. It's a lie. It's a total lie on both of them. I mean, okay, yes, technically green stuff did shoot out, but like not at all in the shape of a leaf, not at all recognizable. I mean, this is not, you could do that with a crayon. It's, it's definitely not, it's just green on a paper. There's nothing really particularly special about it. I am a little bit disappointed. Um, I did try it a couple ways. I tried it smashed between two pieces of paper and then I tried it just the leaf on the paper to really see what I was doing. I'm not even gonna bother setting these out to dry for a couple days because even if they turn brown, it doesn't matter because if they turn green, I'm not gonna use them. So I'm gonna say this is a fail and like a fake DIY that you will find on Pinterest. If you guys know of a better way of doing it, like I said, like this is not like the end all be all way to like transfer leaves or anything onto paper. This was me trying this one specific hack out and like it didn't work. So if you guys know of a way to make it work, that would be awesome. Or if you know of another way that's like completely unrelated to this, but like to get the leaves onto the paper, um, that'd be great. Uh, that's not something that I specialize in. It's not something that I know how to do, which is why I wanted to try this particular craft out. Uh, but I'm gonna say this particular craft and this particular way of doing it, which Pinterest showed as just smacking it with a hammer, it just doesn't work, unfortunately. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to find out because, you know, I really wanted it to work. So I'm guessing you did too. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.